Do you still have those traffic wardens? Yeah, okay. this year, this year we didn't do traffic wardens. Okay. The board, the board, my board have decided that uh, going forward, uh, the traffic management uh, program should be rather, we should rather focus on entrepreneurship because we have a number of graduates coming out of the universities. And uh, just like I said before, about 100,000 yearly. And uh, for the fi last five years, we've, what we have realized that we have more, more than 400,000 service personnel graduated from national service. And the question is, can the economy, both the private sector and the public sector, absorb okay. those numbers? And the answer is simple, no. So what do we do? As national service, yes, it is our mandate to get them to deploy to do national service. But we also have a role to play to ensure that the people we are deploying, once they finish, they're able to at least be on their own mm -hmm. and be able to have a good living. So we've, we are introducing the entrepreneurship and innovation model, where we have, expect that service personnel will be assigned to successful entrepreneurs in this country. So if Chen Chen Hino, you are an entrepreneur, a successful em entrepreneur, we deploy the service personnel to you. We, National Service, will take the tax of paying the service personnel. It is not your responsibility. Mm -hmm. But we expect that you take this service personnel through the value chain of entrepreneurship. Okay. So if you are, for instance, doing poetry, we expect that the service personnel at the end of the one year of National Service should come out with a business plan that is very feasible and bankable for at least 500 day old chicks or 1,000 day old chicks. So that we then can graduate you to NEIP, that's National Entrepreneurship and okay. Innovation Plan, okay. or even Maslock, for a support to be able to set you up. Before, we have our own farms. Nungua, when you go to Nungua this, uh, this year, we have over 20,000 beds. When we came, we had just 2,000 beds. Now, we've, within 20 months, we've been able to increase our beds to 20,000. Okay. We set up a small processing plant where we can process our uh, farm produce to either sausage, burger, uh, other, and we are getting standard authority to give us all the, the certification so that we can use it to even serve our shops like okay. ShopRite and Co. can mm -hmm. use Ghanaian products instead of foreign products. Could even help with the school feeding program. School feeding program, excellent. Mm -hmm. And that is what the collaboration we are looking to, we, we seek to do. And for instance, you know, Edra, where we have big farm, we have land of cultivating. This year, for instance, we are doing over 500 acres of maize cultivation and this maize cultivation we process it into feed to feed, feed our poultry so we don't even sell our maize that we produce we process our own feed we've also established our own feeding feed, feed mill where we process our feed and we'll use it to feed our poultry so the whole value chain the and service personnel are required to go through the value chain and know how to even receive the chicks what is the temperature what is the vaccination what's the medication what are the type of fees, okay? At what age do you expect them to start laying? At what stage, what are the record keeping policy that you have? All these value chain you expect to learn. But once you finish, you should have a business plan so that we set you up. That's fantastic. So, so you are saying now that the NSS, you've scrapped that traffic warden system? Yes, for now, management. this year, we don't have traffic uh, warden system. Mm -hmm.